what's up it's Vince here we're doing the Fiat Punto second car out of the 700 plus cars there in the game kind of a knockoff of the uh, the good hot hatches which would be the Honda Civics anything that's JDM really Mazda Mitsubishi just to have your head it's like an Italian like European version of the hot hash is just always tends to be heavy, bulky, and not quite as precise as something that's Japanese. Exceptions being the uh, the Mark One, Mark Two, Mark Three Golfs that are in the game because they obviously have the weight on their side. Fiat Punto HGT, a bar from the early 2000s, is definitely one of my favorites, but was never sold in the States. Sim engine as to what's in the Fiat 500. Very much Ford Focus S taillights, and the lights are all yellow, which is different. It's got like Euro spec, I guess, lights and bumpers and regulations it abides to because it's a European only car. I don't think they ever sold those in the United States. I will say it's heavier. It's a little bit slower. But it has the same power plant. It's a little longer wheelbase. It's a little more stable if you want to put the power to it. Though I would just leap for the Civic first to begin with. It's a reasonable economical car that you can drive in the city, but it's not something that I see every day. Especially this Abarv Special Edition, which I'm assuming they only made a couple thousand the money and look into it. Expect to see more finishing out the, uh, the Abarv car list, and then I think the next one's Alfa Romeo, and so on and so forth. I will probably revamp the cars I've already covered, such as the uh, TVR and the Porsche that I already did, but might as well do it in this format. <clears throat> new games to come, new Let's Plays, new and old games are coming and off related videos for the channel. Just want to put out content, and there's some good racing games out there that I haven't touched yet, and we're going to get to them when they come out, or when I get to them in my collection, and set up a new save, and record the whole thing, and process and make all the videos, and talk about at least a scribble or something. Here I switched the replay. I think I'm about using this in the standard format. You won't see it in the next video, but you will see it probably in the video after that one. This third person, because it makes it less... It's less irritating on the, uh, the ears to be behind the whole car, throughout the whole thing, and hear the power band rev through. Plus you also get a new perspective on it from the third person, which I've done before. In previous videos, such as the Nova Race, the Gran Turismo races that I've uh, posted onto the channel, it's a little more complicated of a format because you gotta redo it twice and then you gotta line the videos up to be synchronized as close as possible, and then transition them from one track to a second track and then put them on the same track that way they all go into each other. Or you can leave them on the two tracks that way they flip back and forth, but it's just better to put them all on one track in an editing software. And then you can put whatever, um, like the subscribe notification or anything else that would be like any pop ups if you want to put them in, or jump cut to another video if you want to. But there ain't nothing else to jump cut to because we're just talking about this uh, Fiat. But I'm experimenting with the switching back and forth. 
Or I might just do the whole thing as a uh, third person. It's more of a personal preference thing for me more than anyone giving out a vote. I mean, this is more entertaining. See, it jump cut a little bit back, but I don't mind that. Because it just continues where it left off. Back to the power band and where it was and what gear and all the things that add up. <clears throat> Again, a good car, but I would still take a Civic over this. Because it's just lighter to begin with, especially an older 90s one. We don't have the older Fiats, like the HGT Abarth was in the older Gran Turismo games. And if you're from the 90s was more relevant there and they kind of slosh things over to 2010 in this particular um, series of games it used to be a lot of 2000s cars and Forza Motorsports back in the Forza 4 era and they kind of regrouped it but they put in a lot of new stuff as opposed to the stuff that was pretty predominantly 2000s based cars that were a little bit lighter a little bit more maneuverable not as bulky as these 2010 cars tend to be in the in this game. And the handling's at its limit too. I'm assuming the barf's exhaust, the barf suspension, the barf wheels, the barf stripes, limited edition color, limited edition amount of cars. Just nothing that you've ever seen in the United States, nor do I think any American would want to buy because it's a Ford Focus hot hatch type car that's not really desirable to begin with. It's not a real drive vehicle, it's not as big as a truck. Though it's perfect for cities, there's only X amount of cities on the coast of the United States. And I don't know if it would meet the, meet the needs Whereas the rest of the United States is all empty highways and shipping and trucking and all the things in between are just little pit stops. Plus, I don't even know how many dealers that are fiat in the United States. It's obviously dominant in Europe and not dominant in America. Granted, they merged with Chrysler and Boehm and have their uh, parts resources transfer sh stuff over from Europe to here, but I guess you'd have to go to a Chrysler dealership for a Fiat if you can. I don't know. I think it is. I've seen it like the manuals on the Mopar website, like Fiat stuff, parts and accessories and part numbers for replacements and sh stuff like that. So anyway, this is the last lap. I'll see you in the next video probably be in our Forza video or maybe something else. Uh, you'll see when it comes out. So we'll see you in the next one.